This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator uh, to solve the matrix questions. Basically, matrix, I'm going to divide them into two different videos. The first video, I will teach you how to solve the plus, minus, and multiply. And next video, I will focus on sort of the divide we call inverse matrix. All right, so let's have a look at this video first. Let's say you have three different metrics a b and c okay if you want to plus them definitely you can do manually right so let's let's say you want to do something like matrix a plus with metric b so you want to do metric a plus with metric b and then what you want to do is you just insert a uh, one two three four and then plus with two zero one negative three if you learn about matrix before, you know each of the position can only plus with a specific position. Like one can only plus with a two here, and then you will get about three. And then two, you can only plus with the zero here, which is two. Three, you can only plus with a one here, which is four. And then four, you can only plus with a negative three here, uh, which is one. Okay, this is how you get the answer. That's it. Each position can only plus with the specific position. All right, but sometimes in the exam, you might have something like, oh, they will give you something like three, one, two, three, four, which is metric A, and then plus with about one over two, two, zero, one, negative three. All right, for this kind of questions, right, uh, the three here is basically need to multiply all of the term here. Uh, it call it as a scalar. So basically what you need to do is, yeah, you need to multiply three into every single one and then you only you plus, you multiply one over two into every single one. So it's going to take you some time, yeah, if you are not so good in multiplication. If not, you can do it quite fast, which is like three, six, nine, twelve, and then plus, this one you multiply in, you will get one, zero, one over two and negative three over two. Then only you plus them like 3 plus 1, you get 4. 6 plus 0, you get 6. 9 plus uh, 1 over 2, you get 9.5. And 12 plus, uh, 12 plus negative 3 over 2, you will, you know this is 12 minus 1.5, right? So you should be able to get about uh, 10.5. Okay, or you can just use a calculator. 12 minus 3 over 2. Then you will get about 10.5 here. All right. Okay, however, if we have the calculator, how are we going to use a calculator to check our answer is correct or wrong? So this is what you can do. Uh, you go into the menu and look for the matrix. All right, then I will just insert my matrix A, uh, define a matrix, do you see that? I type one for matrix A. Then you need to know what is the row and column for this matrix. So row basically we read from the horizontal. This is a row. So you can see you have one, two, so you have two row. Column we read from like this. This is column one, two. So this one row is two, column will be two again. So then I just insert my matrix A, which is one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter. Then after that, I want to uh, define my matrix B. Then I will just tap option and then define matrix. Then I choose B here. Then same, same thing, two, two here. Then I say 2, 0, 1, negative 3. Then the same thing, if I want to define matrix, C again, I say define, uh, define matrix. Then I type C, which is number 3 here, 2, 2 here. And then 3, 4, negative 1, and 5. Okay, then depend your question. Let's say your question is like this one. So you want to check whether the answer of this one is correct or wrong. You should know this one is basically is 3A plus 1 over 2B. Because this is a metric B, isn't it? This is a metric A. Then I just use the calculator. I type option. And then I want to do metric calculation, so which is number 3 here. All right, then what I will do is I will just type 3. And then this one is a matrix A, right? I type option. I want to take the metric A, which is number 3 here. And then plus 1 over 2 matrix B, then I, then I go to option, matrix B, and then I tap enter, then I should be able to get the exactly same answer here. You can see which is 4, 6, 9.5, and 10.5. So I can straight away get the answer like this. 
okay, if the, in the exam, they will ask you to solve something like 5 matrix A minus 3 over 2 matrix C here, then what you can do is you can just insert into the calculator. Remember just now we already insert A, B, C, right? So we can straight away do like this. 5 multiply by matrix A, I go to option, I grab the matrix A, and then minus 3 over 2, you can just type 3 over 2, or 1.5 if you want, and then multiply the matrix C. So we go to option, grab the matrix C, which is number 5. And then you tap enter, you can straight away get the answer here, which is 0 0.5, uh, 4, 16.5, and 12.5. Alright, so when the question is multiply both metric, then you will find this calculator is even more useful. I will show you. So let's say today I want to do the metric A multiply metric C. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then multiply with 3, 4, negative 1, and 5. Okay, if you do manually, it's going to take you some time. But here I will teach you some manual way. So the first metric, you need to uh, separate them uh, into the top and bottom. So you can see, I actually draw two rectangles for it. This one actually, one rectangle is at the top, another rectangle at the bottom. So for the first metric, you always need to divide them into the top and bottom. But for the second metric, you need to divide them to the left and right. Okay, so you have about left and right here. So what happened is after you multiply them, you will get a two times two matrix because for multiplication, you must know the matrix order. This is two times two, two times two. For metric multiplication, you want to make sure the middle letter must be the same. Then only you can do the multiply. So you cancel out this one, you left two times two. This one is your answer, two times two. Okay, so when you use the top to multiply the left one, you actually get the top left, which is this one. All right, if you use the top, you multiply the right one, you will get the uh, top right, so which is this position. And then you use the bottom one to multiply the left one, you will get the bottom left. Bottom multiply the right one, you will get the bottom right. Okay, see how I do it. So like one, I multiply three, I will get two. I, one multiply three, I will get three. Plus two multiply negative one, I will get negative two, negative two. Okay, so basically this is how you multiply. You have two term, right? The first term is only multiply with the first term. I mean, I put a star here, okay? Then the second term is only multiply with the second term. That's why each term only multiply one time. Okay, you get the idea. So let's try it again. So like one, if I multiply four, five, right? One, two, I only multiply four, five. One will only multiply with four, which is four here. And then I need to plus two will multiply with the five, which is 10 here. Okay, then I do the same thing. Three, four, I want to multiply three, negative one, right? Three can only multiply with three, I get nine. Four multiply negative one, I get minus four. Supposedly plus negative four, I can straight away write negative four here. And then do the same thing for three, four, I will need to multiply about four, five. Three multiply four will give me 12. And then four multiply five will give me plus 20. Uh, 20, yeah. So remember, 3 multiply 4, give 12. 4 multiply 5, give you 20. Then you need to do some plus and minus by yourself. So this one actually will tell you the answer should be 3 minus 2, 1. This one will be 14. This one will be 5. This one will be 32. Okay, let's see what if you want to use the calculator to check our answer. Then I will just go to the AC. You see here, you still remain matrix. So right now, it's actually still in the matrix calculation. Uh, pattern here. So you no need to go into that again. So you just need to straight away type option, grab the metric A, which is number three, multiply, uh, option again, grab the metric C, because I multiply C, then it's five. Then you tap enter. Then the calculator should be able to straight away tell you the answer, one, 14, and then five and 32, which is exactly same with my answer here. All right. Okay, let's have a look some exam type of questions here. Okay, normally in the exam, you will have some uh, question like this. Yeah, they will not give you just simply two times two, multiply two times two. So they will give you different pattern of the matrix order. And then you need to know how to do the multiplication. So over here, I will just go into the matrix again. 
okay because i need to define my matrix so before i define my matrix here you need to know how, uh, what is the row and column for each of the matrix so like what i say is like we always read the row first so row basically we read like this how many row we have this one is called one two three it's called three row multiply column we read like the vertical one one two this one matrix order is called three multiply two so you should get the idea this one is two multiply one so it's two multiply one i say when we do the multiplication right we want to make sure the middle letter must be the same so this one is two and two so we can say it out our answer is three multiply one so means three multiply one the matrix should look like this three one two three multiply one only so you can do manually and then of course you can use the calculator to do as well but because this one is coming out in paper one so actually you can straight away use a calculator because you don't need to show any working so what i will do right now is i will define this one as a metric a and then this one is a metric b okay so i define matrix a number one here so they will ask you to insert the number of row which is three and the number of column which is two so this one will be one two four three negative enter negative five two all right then i would option i would define the matrix b again so which is row will be two column will be one okay so i will insert two and negative three here so then i type enter okay so after i enter matrix a and b already i want to tell the calculator i want to do matrix a multiply matrix b then go to the option do the metric calculation so number three here so right now i just need to grab the metric a from option metric a multiply grab the metric b so then i will type enter then the calculator will tell me the answer straight away negative four negative one and negative 16 so that i no need to do manually if you want to do manually you definitely will get the same answer no problem so let's have a look at the last example here so i will go to the menu again uh, this one so right now i want to define my matrix so you need to know about uh, what is this matrix this is one row three column right this one called one times three this one is one two three one two this is three row times two column middle number must be the same then only you can multiply so your answer should be one times two so your answer should be one row but you have two column okay so let's do it okay metric a is one so this is called one you type and then what is your column three okay then you insert your number negative one three and five here and then define matrix again and then this is metric b number two here then this one is called three row two column then you just insert three and two here then you do two enter one enter three enter negative five enter four enter and negative two enter all right then what you want to do next is go to the option matrix calculation and then grab the metric a multiply metric b so go to the option grab the metric a multiply option again grab the metric b then you tap enter the calculator will share will tell you both answer which is 27 and then another one will be negative 26 all right i hope you find this video helpful to you if you are interested to get this calculator I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store. And then you click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code 
first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye